We want to turn to politics now in the race for 2020. Senator Bernie Sanders is back home in Vermont tonight after suffering a heart attack and having two stents implanted. He says he'll be at the next debate just nine days away, but will he have to slow down his usual frenetic pace? And how could this illness shake up the Democratic race? Here's ABC's Rachel Scott. Tonight, Senator Bernie Sanders resting at home, taking a full weekend off for the first time in months. Arriving back home in Vermont after his campaign said he suffered a heart attack, his family waiting at the door. The senator usually keeps a tight and intense campaign schedule on his feet, packing as many as five events in a day, often in different cities. Earlier this week during a Nevada event, the senator asked for a seat. Give me a chair up here for a moment, Mr. Daniel. It's been a long day here. Later undergoing an emergency heart procedure, doctors inserting two stents to clear a blocked artery. How are you feeling? Leaving the hospital, Sanders had this message for supporters. And I'm feeling so much better. See you soon on the campaign trail. There's always a question is, is he too old to be running for president? And with Bernie Sanders, the way he conveys energy and what level of enthusiasm he seems to generate, I think he can overcome that. The senator raising more than any other Democrat this year in a single quarter, hauling in $25 million. At 78, he is the oldest candidate in the race. The three early Democratic frontrunners are all in their 70s, and they have strong support in key early voting states. A new Fox News poll shows former Vice President Joe Biden with a commanding lead in South Carolina, ahead of Senator Elizabeth Warren and Sanders. All right, Rachel joins us now live, and we know Senator Sanders' campaign said he will be on the stage at the next Democratic debate, which is in a little over a week. Is there any indication he'll do any campaign events before then? Tom, the senator's schedule between now and that next debate still very much up in the air tonight. But as for his campaign, well, it is trying to move forward full steam ahead. His campaign will be out with a new policy proposal first thing tomorrow morning. Tom? All eyes on the Sanders recovery. All right, Rachel, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.